Hello, hello, this is Simone. I want to do a small scrap chat, as other YouTubers call it, and tell you a little bit about my plans for this channel, how I see it. The first thing I want to talk about is, actually, I intended this channel to be a scrapbooking channel, where I would film process videos. I watch mostly scrapbooking process videos, because I learn so much through watching other people scrapbook. Then, since I never filmed any films, I thought, oh well, I'm planning. I could do plan with me videos. They are short, they are doable. I can try to learn iMovie. I can try to learn how to make videos, try to see if I'm comfortable um, with doing voiceovers and all of this stuff. And then um, my channel grew. People watch, watched my videos and now I'm kind of a travels notebook kind of gal. Um, I do a lot of uh, journaling videos and I have five, I think scrapbooking process videos on my channel. Now what? Do I um, enforce this thing that just evolved and stay on the Traveler's Notebook track? Is it okay for you if there is a lot of variety on this channel? Please tell me what you think. This is my hobby. I just do this because um, I'm a stay-at-home mom and have enough time or not, my household <laughs> looks like a mess, um, to do this. I enjoy this immensely right now and that's why I'm doing it. So it was really natural since I uh, failed miserably in having content up on YouTube during the month of June when I wasn't here. Um, I have so many videos on Backlog that I decided to participate in Heather's Crafty Life. Um, that's her YouTube name and that's the way she calls herself on um, Facebook. So in Heather's, um, a video a day. That's what I'm doing in July. I'm working through all of the videos um, from that I have on my computer and I'm making new ones without the stress of having to have a video. Well, I never have to have a video, but I would love to have a schedule where you know that when you come on Monday, you can see a planner video. When you come on Tuesday, you see a journaling video, stuff like that. And that's where I'm going now. Um, I thought of things I wanted to tell and uh, sh film for you. And I actually filled all the weekdays. So maybe... I can have a lot of videos up in the future depending on how long they are. So Monday would be a planning video, Tuesday a journaling video, Wednesday I thought I would, uh, for, in July I will have all of my, my list challenge, the 28 days of love. So mini albums, Thursday a general topic such as what journaling pens are, do I love, what things could you put into journals uh, and notebooks and like general topics. Friday a scrapbooking video, Saturday unfinished objects videos and Sundays unboxing videos. I will definitely not have a uh, four unboxing videos or five unboxing videos each month so you will get a break during Sundays. You will not see me and my face. So um, I really love when people get on um, in the beginning of the video when they get on face to face and tell you what the video is going to be about. And that is actually what I have been thinking about and I would really love to hear your um, opinion on this. Maybe I'm the only one who likes that. Maybe you like it too. And um, this way of filming is not really that hard. So I could definitely do this. And if 
it's something you all like, then yeah, it would be my pleasure to do so. And the last thing I wanted to say before I stop this video is what do you think about talking videos? <laughs> some like that. I would love to film some, not very many. I have some ideas, but not a lot of ideas. Maybe there will be more in the future, but irregular face-to-face -face videos where I talk about topics like because I have a very strong opinion on that, how you find how to find your the best kid club for yourself, or how to deal with the fear of missing out. Um, please let me know what you think about face-to-face -face videos in general, what you think about having an introduction to a video short. I mean, I know I can't really keep myself short, but short introduction to a process or video face-to-face -face, and the face-to-face -face videos that I just with a certain topic like well it could be a podcast but I have a YouTube channel so I would have my face here and I would tell you things that I think are relevant to scrapbooking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoy your re weekend. It is a Saturday filler video because I do not have a um, unfinished objects video yet, but you will see one next Saturday. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. I totally forgot. I already um, uploaded a video with a face-to-face -face introduction. So you can check that out on my channel. It is linked in the description box below and then you can tell me no, we don't want to have you do this or yeah, that is something we really like or I really like because usually we, I, speak of myself in the first person, singular, right? Um, and then uh, what I want to get up during the month of July with my face-to-face -face videos is uh, my scrapbooking co goals, my scrapbooking goals for 2017 revisited. How am I doing on those goals? I actually don't remember them. And as well as an update on my planner lineup. I filmed this very ambitious and uploaded this very ambitious video in the beginning of 2017. And it really had so many views, but it totally failed. So I think it would be a really good thing to film an update and show you what I'm using now and what works for me and what not. Okay, I'm done now, really, I promise. Bye! Oh, you're so lucky. Why? You're never going to get wet. <laughs>